Okay, I am really excited about today's Fast From Wrong Thinking. We are on day 15, and we are gonna fast from the thought that says, God is far from me. So many Christians, so many people think God kind of comes and goes. We have this illusion of separation, and I wanna break that mentality because it seeps into our brains, it seeps into our into our minds, it begins to depress us and we begin to wonder, is God really with me? And what about if I sin? And what about if I fail? We have to learn to discern. I wanna tell you something, teach you something here. We have to learn to not only discern between right and wrong, but we have to discern between right versus almost right. <laughs> it's almost right to ask God to come down and help us. It sounds humble. Come down, Lord, and help me. It sounds holy, but you will truly be free when you discover he's already here. To, it's almost right. It's, it's not right, but it's almost right because it sounds good and it sounds pure. God, come from heaven and send help from heaven, but he's already sent the help you need. He's already sent the Holy Spirit. He sent his word. He sent his church. You have his church. You have his spirit. You have his word. You have his promises. You have his presence. Like, he hasn't left you. He said, I'll never leave you or forsake you. But we have this illusion of separation. It's a myth. Separation between us and God is a myth. It's not reality. The reality is Nothing will separate you from the love of God. Nothing will separate you from God. He'll never leave you or forsake you. He'll never let anyone snatch you out of the palm of his hand. We will never be separated from God ever again. If you sin tomorrow, you, it will not separate you from God. Jesus already swallowed up the sin that separated us from God. The sin that separated us from God was Adam and Eve's sin. That's what separated us from God. It wasn't even our sin that separated us from God. It was Adam and Eve's. We just sinned because we were born sinners. But that's why you get born again and you're, not, you're either in sin because you're not born again or you're in Christ because you are born again. There's no separation is my point. And I don't have time to dig into all of the issue of sin. But Jesus has removed it. So there is nothing separating you from God anymore. Uh, listen, you, you gotta get a hold of this. The moment you're born again, there's no separation. Even though you feel far away from God sometimes, you feel he's far away, but he's not. He's here, he's there, he's everywhere we are. He's everywhere you are. Well, yeah, but what if I go to, you know, the, I go to this place I shouldn't go to with these people I shouldn't be with. God goes with you there because he lives inside of you. He's not like unzipping your body and jumping out. He's staying. He came to stay. He's moved in. He's permanent in your life and he's never letting go. God is far from me is a myth. It's a lie. The devil wants you to think that. But Psalm 46 one says he is an ever present help in times of need. He said in his word, in Matthew 28, 20, I love this verse. He said, lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. I am with you always. Emmanuel, God with us. Holy Spirit, God in us. Heavenly Father, God for us. Whew, boy, when you get a hold that Christianity is not a life of attainment, it's a life of recognition. It's recognizing what is already ours. Recognizing, it's not attaining God's presence. Christianity is recognizing God's presence, being aware of his presence. That's really what liberates you. It's, it's not that we need to sing or praise or worship our way into God's presence. We're already in God's presence and his presence is already in us. And when you get a hold of that, it brings peace and it, it's making ourselves aware of that is what makes the difference. He's not leaving. He lives inside of you. Acknowledging that, praising him for that, thanking him for that makes his presence 
even more powerfully manifest in your life. He's omnipresent. He's everywhere all the time. He's dwelling present. He's inside of you. And he's manifest present. In other words, he, his presence will manifest into a miracle in your life as you believe, simply believe. Resist the temptation to pray, oh God, send the Holy Spirit, send the Holy Spirit. He already sent the Holy Spirit. He lives inside of you if you're born again. And remember, Christianity is not living for God, it's living from God. Galatians 2.20 says, it's no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Say that, Christ lives in me. Say that, I'm not separated from God in any way. Say that, nothing will separate me. Say it out loud, nothing will separate me from the love of God. Man, we are, phew, we are uh, cruising in this fast and wrong thinking. We're about a little over a third way of the way finish, but let's never finish. Let's keep fasting from wrong thinking because it's a lifestyle. I can't wait to talk to you tomorrow. I got some really great things to share with you then. Leave your comments um, on this post and I'm just excited to hear from you and can't wait to talk to you tomorrow. God bless.